greetings. Yes. How dare you, Ebuka? How dare you obstruct this day? Disrupt my daughter's wedding, Ebuka. And why shouldn't I? I turn my back for a moment and you dare give my woman away to another man. This was not our agreement. What nonsense agreement did we make, Ebuka? Will you take away your useless body out of this compound this minute or I will be you forced will to... what? I am not scared of you. I am the son of the wither tree that has refused to become one with death by the gods! Chief Amechi, I do not need to remind you that in my hands lie the ability to open up this earth to stand on this instant and it will swallow every living creature that stands in the way of my being with Ugoma. You know that. Ugoma! Come back here! Come back here! Take it Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Take it back! Leave me alone! Take it back! 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 We do not have to do this this way. We do not have to start like this. You made me a promise. Why this sudden change? My lord, who is this young man? And what is the meaning of this? My lord, I think he has lost his mind. You think I've lost my mind? Ugama! I want my wife! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I want my wife! Leave me alone! Ugama! Leave me! Ugama! Ugama! And you! Ugama! Ugama! It is only the stubborn fly that follows a corpse to the grave. My daughter Ugoma will never marry you. Is it by force? Michi, is this how you repay me after all I've done for your family? You're a big liar. You promised me. Get down. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. My law, what do we do to him? A man such as this should not be allowed to live. He is dangerous and could become a thorn in the flesh with his evil charms. Do what is right. You just heard my in-law. We cannot let him leave. Do it quickly and dispose him where no one will find him. Do you understand? Do it. Should we use a knife? No, I prefer to use a stick. I put into your diet. No, 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 no. I prefer strangling. Let's go. Stop. Ah! <laughs> Uh, 
I have been betrayed. <laughs> Beaten. Like a dog I have been treated. Dragged in the mud. Like a thief. They have taken everything away from me. Yet give nothing. Not even that which they promised. I have suffered. I have lost everything. No, you have not. Son of the mountain lion, you are loved by the gods. And for their betrayal, they will know no peace. For each and every drop of tears that draw from your eyes, they will now find happiness. For every finger that inflicts pain in you, calamity shall be upon them. For the market days from now, their souls shall be marked for sorrow. If they do not return what is yours, then death they have claimed. Make a move. Mary, what is the meaning of this? Are you blind? Imagine, Mary. Can't you see you kicked our buckets? Yeah. Oh, you girls are trying to show yourselves, Abby. You're trying to show yourselves. Mary, what nonsense are you saying? Can't you just apologize for what you did? Morgan, just look at you. Hey. hey, so if I apologize to you girls now, you will accept it. You're not well. You know what? I'm in a hurry. I'm going somewhere. Eh? So I don't have time for this today. But I can promise you that we'll do this another time. I promise three of you combined beating. Eh? Non refundable flogging. Three of you. It's a promise. It's the next time we meet. Eh? So don't be in a hurry. Just relax. Girls, this Mary's issue is getting out of hand this year. This girl has no respect for anybody. That girl is really growing wings. I think it's time someone should teach her a lesson in this village. I agree with you. And come to think of it, who even wants to associate with that girl? With her poverty stricken parents? Imagine Rubbish. Mary. Mary! Hey! Uh, 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 uh. Girls, leave Mary oh! <laughs> leave Mary oh! <laughs> I don't want her trouble. Remember what she did to Stella and her sister? I don't want to be a victim oh! Stop talking like a coward. I can see you want. Who is Mary? That is Stella and not me. Hey. And if she's too strong to beat one person, can she beat the three of us? Can she? No. Okay. You beat me, stay. Stay and fight Mary. I don't want that problem. Yeah, I'm going to beat her. Stay, okay, fight so Mary. Hey. My friend, she's so fair. You're the one that I take Good evening, sir. Good evening, ma. Ah, Mary Magdalene. Yes, sir. Jesus is Lord, sir. Oh, this one you are here in our place. Is everything all right? Uh, yes, yeah, so. In fact, uh, I want to see Amaka. Is she in? No, she's not. Of course she's in. Just go in and check her. She should be in there or somewhere around the backyard. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I am not comfortable with this girl's visit. Eh? Mary has never paid her daughter a visit before. Why now all of a sudden? Woman, you are always so so sensitive about about Mary, you this. Leave my alone! 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 Le
Oh, Mary, you had the girl to come, come to my house and insult me like this? Beat up my daughter? Papa, I'm sorry, yo. I did not mean to insult you. I did not come here to insult you either. This your daughter is very disrespectful. And the next time you disrespect my family, I will make sure you eat all the grass in this village. Nonsense. If you want to find me next time, you know where to find me. You see what I told you? You see what I told you? I am not coming with, with her. Did you have any problem with her before? Huh? What kind of problem? <laughs> <laughs> Chichi, we meet again. Mary, please go away. I don't have your time. As you can see, I'm busy here. Well, me, I have the hey, time. Hey, Mary! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come and repeat that thing that you said again. Hey, leave me alone! Repeat that thing that you said again before I remove your eyes. Okay, so you've come for a fight? Yes. You've come to fight back? Yes, so. I said you don't have respect. I said it. Do you think I cannot say it? You cannot do anything. I am not afraid to say it. We, the Council of Elders, have decided to find you for being so ruthless and without regard and respect for anyone. Now tell us, how can you enter into another person's company, drag out his daughter in his presence, and then beat her to the point of passing out? How? You even made them eat grass. Do you want to kill them? Elders. The worst of it is, she will not stop, even when I try to restrict her. Rather, she pushed me off. Ah, that's a lie, yo. I did not push you down. All I did was beat up your child. She even threatened to beat my husband and I, eh, and feed us with grass and sand. He's a lie, yo. This one is a very big lie. Ah, ah. The only thing I did was to beat, beat your daughter. Ah, at least she's my age mate. Shut up there, Mary. One more word from your mouth, and you'll be sorry. Papa, why are they lying against me? But you're never one. Shut up your mouth. I descend on you. Sorry, please. We will deal with her when we get some beacon. Beacon on my name. Papa Mary. Mama Mary. Your daughter has turned herself into a terrorist in this village. And every child speaks of her like some evil who will eat up a, a, a newborn baby if given the chance. And that we will not allow. Your daughter has caused these two families enough pain. And you have to refund every couple they have spent paying hospital bills. You will pay the hospital bills and a fine of 10,000 naira. Thank you. For causing all this elder to come out here to deliberate on this matter. Oh, here. Yeah. Where will that one come from? You are asking. You should have known before going out to cause problem all around for your poor parents. Please tell us the total money you spent at the hospital. We bought two pints of blood, hey! two liters of drip, and some antibiotics. Save our time. 
Just go straight to the total bill. Okay. After buying all those things, we still had to pay the doctor for his services. Uh, everything totaled up to 22,000 Naira. Enuge, you are lamenting. When your daughter was inflicting damages on her daughter, I also lamented. So you, you, you see how it feels now? Uh, Papa Mark, is that all? No, not exactly. Not exactly. Um, yes, I did not add the money we, we spent in going to the hospital so many times. Even the money she, we used in giving her food. Leave that for now. Yes, elders. We have to be lenient with her poor parents. Um, Mama Chichi, how much did you spend on your daughter's treatment? Hmm. Ma is not much. It's only 6,800 Naira. And that money I had to borrow from my neighbor at the market. Well, that is okay. Uh, Papa and Mama Mary, you've had it. So what do you have to say? Uh, my elders, I greet you. As you all know, if it were when I used to be myself, these bills are nothing to me. But as God wants it, things are no longer the same. My family and I can hardly go through three square meals a day. And yet, your daughter possesses the strength of up to ten men going about beating people. Eh? It's your business, so you have Omar, to pay. Be quiet there. You only speak when you are asked to. So you shut up, or we give you a fine. <clears throat> My elders, I know how it feels for somebody's daughter to have something like this happen to her. Uh, my daughter is still young and yet to understand the deep meaning of what she did. Please, do not punish us so hard. Temper justice with mercy. Help me plead with these two families. We don't have such money to pay, please. Um, you have spoken well. Please be seated. Thank you. Papa Maka, Mama Chichi, you have heard the plea of the family. Chima here, we all know, is not rude or arrogant. Thank you. I plead with you. Please, have pity on him and his family. Please. So, does it mean I will not get my money back? No, you will. You will get half of your money. Half of your 22,000 naira. Why Mama Chechi here will get half of her own. And the elders will be paid 5,000 naira only. That's making everything almost 20,000 naira. Hey, it's not going to work. Oh. Why will my parents get that kind of money to pay? Huh? Mary, Mary, become a chair and shut your mouth. I'm not going to shut up. I, I cannot keep quiet and be allowing people to, to be spoiling our family name. After this girl w went about saying bad, bad things about my parents. So she was talking about you and Papa. Well, why shouldn't I beat her up? She has more to talk at the day. I don't even beat her enough for her to be, to, to have been taken. Mary, shut up here yeah, and get away from here. Eh, you people can, you can sell anything you want to sell or sell it, no problem. You people have just rightly, right? This is justice. Pay one hour and you see if I will not beat you every day of your life. I will beat you and I will see you get tired. Go and sell, sell your rappers and pay. Mary. Did, did, did you hear that? Did you hear that? So she will continue to beat my daughter. Huh? Elders, you hurt her. She wants to kill my daughter. Okay, no problem. I don't need the money again. Chichi. Uh, Mama Chichi. Chichi. Please, Mama Chichi, come back. We will, we will, we will revisit the issue. Why do you do it? Do what, Mama? Beat people up and feed them with sand and grass. See, Mama, if somebody finds it very easy to insult and ridicule the name of this family, ha, me, I will not find it difficult to beat that person and disgrace the person publicly too. But must they eat sand? Yes, so. I do not know. Hmm. <laughs> ha. Very funny. My dear, but please, you need to stop the fighting. Oh? 
Hmm? Mama, this one was not my fault. Eh? Can you imagine that, Amaka? Opening that her mouth to say that Papa's wealth is no more because Papa was doing money rituals. And that Papa will remain poor all his life if he does not sacrifice one of his family members. She said all that? Mama, this one is not here, say, oh. I heard it with my own two ears. Hey. And then when I ran after her, she took off to her house. I couldn't wait. I had to go and drag her outside for her to come and pay for her evil. Ajanonu. Um, my daughter, if one doesn't understand you, one would think you are being nothing. But all the same, you need to stop fighting. You are now a woman. Soon, suitors will start asking for your hand in marriage. Wait. And fighting is not a good reputation. When you say suitors, you mean me getting married? Yes. Oh, Mama Mia, I'm not ready for that one yet. Oh. You don't have a choice. It's just natural. You see, you are my only child. You are now 27 years old. You're supposed to be in a man's house now. Please, you need to stop fighting. Okay? Leave fighting for men. Your own is to make them comfortable. Just like I'm doing for your father. Hmm? Why the smile? Remember nothing. Come on. I am your mother. Is there anything you want to tell me? Uh, I don't know, Mama. I think that I like someone. Really? Who is he? Francis. Francis. Francis is from a good home. Has he asked you? Yes, he has, Mama. I don't want him to think that I'm desperate. No. If he has asked you, I won't go against it. Mm. Yes. But the only thing I will tell you is, be careful not to do anything with him. He has to come and do the right things first before you get involved with him. Wait, Mama, are you talking about him touching me? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he can't try it, though. He cannot try it because he knows if he tries that one, me, I'll just beat him up. Mary, Mom, beat someone that wants to marry you. Mama, I'm only joking. You better be joking. You better be joking. Hey, Mama, um, I want to go and see Francis. I will not stay long. Please don't stay out late. Your father will soon be back. I will. Thank you. Be a good girl. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> Mary, Mary, you scared me. You scared? Wait, so I thought you said nothing scares you. Well, I, I did. But but actually you came from behind, so I wasn't expecting you. Uh -huh. mm, uh, <laughs> if I were, I wouldn't be scared. Yeah. Anyway, you're late. Oh. Yes, I am. I'm sorry. My mother wanted me to help her with some chores at home. Okay. Okay, that's good, that's good. That's good. So, I have been waiting patiently for you. Do I get a hug? Which hug? There's no hug. Why? No hug. Until you become my husband, I won't allow you to touch me. Uh, but everybody knows that you're going to be my wife. I know, until then now. When you've come to do all the right things, then I'll now give you everything. But until then, no touch. So I won't even get a small hug? No, not even baby hug. Okay, okay, okay. I agree. So, how did it go with your parents and the elders? Hey! Those elders are wicked. Mean! Do you believe that they want my parents to pay fine? Yeah, I knew they were going to say that. They're always looking for an opportunity to cheat people. Wait, let me even gist you. Hey, do you know that uh, Amaka's father is now claiming that he had to take Amaka to the hospital? That he had to buy blood and uh, drip to get Amaka well? 
wait. Did you beat her that much? Ha! How? I didn't know. If I'd beaten her that much, would she, would, she, would she still be alive? I only just gave her sand and grass to eat. Liar. That man is a big liar. I'm telling you. When did giving sand and grass suddenly make people lose blood that they need to, to replenish the blood and also get drip? drip? <laughs> the man is claiming that he spent 22,000 naira. Hey, who? On what? To uh, uh, treat Amaka. Even uh, Chichi's mother. Mm. That one is claiming she spent 6,800 naira. Hey, who? And then as if that was not enough, the elders now put their own 5,000 naira as fine. Wait. Seriously? Where do they expect your parents to get all this money from? Ha! May I have told them that if my parents try to, to pay that money, eh, I will wake up in the morning, I will go to Ambaka's house and Chichi's house and wait for them. I will make sure I beat them, I will beat out that 22,000 naira from their body. Mm -hmm. Wait, you did not say that to the elders? I said it. Huh? Yes, so. <laughs> Agunab! Agunab! Aja no no. Wom. Wom. It's no time. I've not seen Mary since I returned from work. I sent her on an errand. Hope you're enjoying the food. Yes. The soup is very good. I paid some of the money the elders billed us. You did? Yes. How? I mean, where did you get the money? I had to pull it out from my market money. Oh my God. Why did you do it? What is now left in the shop? If I didn't do it, where else will I get the money from? Or do you prefer we walk around the town being labelled debtors? You know what it will incur if we don't pay. It will attract interest and that could be frustrating. Hmm. Why? Why are you crying? Nothing. I'm okay. You are not. Look at you. If you don't tell me the problem, I'll stop eating. <laughs> it's just that. At times, I feel responsible for what's up needs to us. <laughs> My dear, stop. It's all right. I've told you times without number to stop thinking like this. This was meant to be. It's neither your fault nor mine. I'm just tired of all this poverty episode. I'm just tired. For over 20 years, we've been living like this. We can't eat food with desire. We can't even buy new clothes. Living from hand to mouth. When will this stop? When? When will it stop? <laughs> it's, it's all right, my dear. It's all right. Huh? I know. Yes. Very soon. To be all right. We will be free from all this. Eh? But before then, you need to talk to your daughter to stop beating up people's children. If she were to be a boy, that I will understand. But she is not. Yes, she does things like boys. Huh? Wow! Before she kiss somebody and we have to buy a coffin. God forbid. It is not our portion. Amen. You have to warn her or I will use force on her. Mary. Mary. 
Relax, Dad. Relax. Why are you being so naive? What's the meaning of that? Eh? So you, you just come to my father's house and you want to come and start doing nonsense with me? Does it mean that you don't even have any respect for my parents? You know I love you. Eh? Oh, so because you love me, you now want me to open my legs for you to start doing nonsense inside? Look, it's just that I, I have respect for you. If not for the, the respect I have for you, I would have really fought you this afternoon. <laughs> I know you don't do that. I know you love me. Hmm? Hmm? Don't touch me, Joe. Oh yeah, go. Wait. Go now. Okay, okay, I'll go. But are we still meeting at our usual spot? I don't know. Just go. Go. Go to your house. Relax now. Mary Magdalene. <laughs> Oh well, yeah, go now. Go away. I've, I've heard. It's okay, go. Yo, Mama. Welcome, Mama. How are you? I'll try, Mama. Good afternoon, Mama. Welcome. Yes, Mama. Uh, Mama, he was just going when you came. Yes, I, I actually, I, I came over to give her uh, something. I understand. Okay. I understand. Mama. Extend my greetings to your parents. Okay, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Um, Mama, I thought that you went to the market to buy things. I saw my friend Eber on the way. He said the daughter could do that for me, and I gave her money. Mm. She do that for me. Okay. Is there anything the matter? I saw that look on your face when I arrived. No, Mama, he just came, and and then he was leaving when you came. Just be careful. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Uh, what do you want to buy? I'm not seeing anything that you are selling here. Where are the wheelbarrows and the other building materials I saw on the notice outside? Oh, they are my big shop. Uh, and my boys are bringing them. Uh, eh? oh. Eh, okay, just don't worry. Eh? Give me the list of what you want to buy so that I can bring them for you at affordable prices. I hope you have all of them. Yes. Is there any other thing? No, 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 no. Just one of the list. Just sit down here and wait for me. Let me go and bring them. Oh? No problem. I'm coming. It's the right. fast now. All right. I was about coming to your shop to see you. Really? Yes. So that means you have my money? Actually, no, I don't. I wanted to come and see you to ask you to give me more time. More time, you said? Yes. Added to the three months you've sold my goods and you've not returned my money. What are you saying? In, I see. There is a customer in my shop. She wants to buy some materials. I am sure I will make some gains and then come and pay you. Do you still have anything in this store that you can sell? So you intend to go, bro, so that you said to her. Hey, nah, calm down, man. Calm down. I don't want her to hear your voice. And why should why I? Lower your voice. Why should I? I don't want her to hear your voice. Hey, mister. If you don't have any goods to sell in this your store, better lock it up and go and look for something else to do. Maybe join these barrel pushers, mix cement. It fits you if you don't know. Call on me. Don't touch me. Hey. What is going on here? What is happening here? Madam, listen to me and listen to You're looking for building materials to buy? Exactly. So far as I'm concerned, this man has nothing to sell to you. Are, are you blind? He's an empty shop. But he said he has them at his big store. Yes, I have everything in my big shop. Which stupid yes. store? He has no other store than this. He wants to play on your intelligence. So, Oga, this is what you do here, eh? No. I just wanted to help you get them. You want to help me bring them? Yes, sir. Mr. Helper, why won't you give me my list? Hey! Madam, hey. I want to buy building materials. Hey. Just go to shops, B60. Hey. They have whatever you're looking for. Stop there. My God will bless you. Bless you, more. Hmm? My God will bless you. Thank bless you so much. You said the B60? B60, there? yeah, B60. I hope it's not far from no, here. No, just a uh, stone hey. throw down the road. Hey! Let's go there. Hmm. 
Amen. But that is your shop that you just directly have. And so? Amen. I wanted to come to your shop and purchase those materials. And make some money for myself. Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know about this. But let me tell you. I give you just two days to come up with my money. Or else, I'll make this life a living hell for you. Amen. Hey, this is unfair. I don't care. In fact, don't even try to come and collect any more materials from my store. Because I'm not ready to give it to you. You bloody dead. I will shame you in front of everybody. For them to know what you're doing. Let me tell you. You are cursed if you don't know. Stupid man. My sister, you know how it is with my family. It's not been easy. Hmm. I even heard you had to pay Chichi and Amaka's parents fines on the injuries uh, Mary inflicted on their daughters. My dear, I don't know what to do with Mary again. But do you know the elders didn't help matters? They say we had to pay for their sitting. Hmm? They did? They did. These people have no pity at all. But what do you intend to do now? I think you need to start up a trade to help yourself and the family and to ease up uh, the stress from your husband, to ease him from pressure. My dear, I thought about that severally. What do I do? Where will I get the money? Where? I don't mind, even if it's a little, I don't mind, but where will I get? Hmm? I can understand, but the Lord is your strength. Amen. Amen. I have to go now. There's nobody in my shop. My dear, I'm so sorry I didn't offer you anything. No, I I'm understand. Sorry. When my husband comes, I'll let him know that you came. Let me see if you can raise anything so I can pay part of my debt. You don't need to worry yourself about all that. Thank you. Take care of yourself. Thank you so much. You're a nice person. It's all right. Thank you, eh? God bless you. She's a very nice person. Auntie, good afternoon. Mary Magdalene. Auntie Jesus is Lord. Of course he is. How are you? Auntie, I'm fine though. Good, thank you. <clears throat> Mary, please. Biko, you must stop engaging yourself in fights. Hmm? It's about your parents. You know how things are with them. Hmm? Don't allow them to use money meant for upkeep of the family to be used to pay fines. Huh? You're no more a child or a girl. You're now a full-grown woman. Hmm? And you must start thinking as such. Use your time to do better things. Hmm? Please, stop fighting. Okay? It's boom. Now, take. Take this. Buy yourself whatever you want. And thank you. Yeah. God bless you. Be a good girl. Hmm? Mary Magdalene. Jesus is love. Be a good girl. Thank huh? you. I just saw your friend. Yes, she just left. Uh, she... She gave me this money. 
she gave you? Yes. Hi. I'll thank her when I see her. She's truly understanding. Huh. Mama, I thought you said you were owing her some money. I am owing her. I've been buying food stuff from her, and I'm yet to pay. Yet she still dashed me money. Ada is a very kind woman. She has a very kind heart. God will really bless her for me. Amen. Amen. Is there any problem? Yes. What is it? I am tired of this poverty-stricken life we are living. I don't think I can last one more year on earth if it continues like this. Nay, why are you talking like this? God has chosen a path for us. And I believe the same God will free us from all this problem. Bikonu, bikonu nai. You don't understand. I don't think that God has a hand in our being poor. How can we be living like scavengers amongst my kinsmen? Do you realize that if I had not built this house earlier, that we would have been homeless now. I thank God you did. We have shelter. Now, nice. so long as we have shelter, every other thing will fall in place, oh? Words of comfort. <laughs> That's why I love you. You never cease to comfort my spirit whenever I am overwhelmed by grief. Thank you. But um, let's face it. Mary, our daughter, has gone through secondary school years ago. She went to train as a seamstress because we couldn't afford to send her to university and stay at home because we cannot even afford to buy her a sewing needle, not to talk of machine, for her to start her work. Hi. Yes, no. Our daughter knows our financial problem. She's not a child. Hmm? She deserves a better life. Yes, we all deserve it. Our God will not forsake us. Oh, no. Please go back to sleep, oh. See. Gentlemen, what's the problem? Just hold you right there, Mr. Detor. The two days I gave you has expired. And I added one extra week on top. So where is my money? Hey, Naya, why are you acting like where this? Where is my eh? money? Why are you acting like this? I thought I came and begged you to give me until month's end. Eh? I should be able to pay. Give it to you when? End of the month? Yes. Why not ask me to give it to you next year so that you can pay up? You a foolish man. Boys! Pack all that is left of you and let's get out of here. No, 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 come on. You can't suck my face. You're a fool. You don't know. Beat him up. 
Stop, Sissy, stop her! Put him here! Put him down here! Deal with him! Deal with him! Bring him up! Get him! 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 Back everything is in there. You foolish man, if you don't know. You're a stupid man. Are you aware? You are so stupid and silly. Why would they do this to you because of money? Why? I tried to beg him. He said he asked his boys to beat me up. They took away everything. How do you see my shop? I have nothing again to sell. Jesus is Lord. Papa, what happened? Were you in an accident? No, Mary. It was a in there. He asked his boys to beat me up. Eh? Because I couldn't pay him the money I am owing him. What? Look at me. Look at me. They want to kill my husband. The only thing I have, they want to kill him for me. Look at me. Wait, Papa, was it that there was nobody with you when, when this was happening? Was there nobody around? No one showed up. They all hit me. They want me dead. Mary! Mama! Mary! Mama! 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 Oh, this guy better you with. She will go down to my this thing. Oh. Hey, you know, yeah. I'm very, 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 I'm Please, please, oh, please, oh, please, please, oh, 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 please, oh,
when the head of the family is old and too weak to fight. Women do too. Mary, you have done well. The only thing is that you acted childishly. You should have reported the case to us elders. And the case would have been against Aina. In total, Aina, do you have anything to say before we pass our final judgment? My elders, I thank you all for attending this urgent matter. Please, I don't have much to say. But you should help me to talk to Mary, to stop attacking me anywhere she sees me. Please. You're talking rubbish. I will keep attacking you until I have broken all your ribs. You broke my father's ribs. I won't rest until I've broken yours. Hey, 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 Mary, you don't have to do that anymore. Since we elders have come into this matter. Then let him return my father's goods. Hey, 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 no problem. I'll, I'll return. Just please don't attack me anymore. Please. It's okay, Mary. Mama, you we don't... No, no, no. We just have to take Elder's word. You don't understand. Eh? Papa can barely work on his own without support. How do we feed when he cannot go and sell? How are we going to survive? Ah. Elders, Mary has just made a very vital point here. Hey, in there, you can hear and feel the gas pen. He almost succeeded in ruining their source of survival by condemning their father to a permanent wheelchair. My elders, frankly speaking, I didn't know it would result to this. But please, help me beg the family. I'm willing to forget whatever amount he's owing me. I'll return his goods and, and pay his hospital bills. Please, just help me out. Please. Hey, Yenna, you have spoken well. But you know, we elders cannot gather for nothing. Both family will pay a fine for this our sitting. Um, 10,000 Naira. Eh? 10,000? Where, where is that one going to come from? Please, we don't have money, elders. Uh, not to worry, I'll take care of that. It's not 20,000 Naira, I'll, I'll, I'll pay. Please, just help me, you know, beggar. Well, less that, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Yes. That's what you want. That's good. You have spoken well. You've spoken well. If she beats you and does not give you sand and grass to eat, then it's not complete. And that is why she always says, Ajanonu. Um. And that's why I love my girl. She does not take nonsense from anybody. Odogu. Yeah. Do you intend to marry that girl? Yes. Why do you ask? <clears throat> Can you control her? I mean, knowing fully where she's strong and can, like she did her um, womb, well, any day. Cool down, cool ha. down. <laughs> you see, Mary, uh -huh. I taught her every fighting skill she's using. I personally taught her. And she also knows now, if she tries any rubbish, I'll just give her left hand. Mm -hmm. Aju. Yes. And what are you boys gossiping about? Um, I, actually, we were uh, mm. uh, praising you like. based on your exploits in the market. Yeah. Uh, oh my God, Mary. Mary, you are very good. Too. You are very good. You're a good fighter. You're a very good fighter. I mean, you, you should have come to this world being a boy, not a girl. That one is not my fault, too. In fact, I like being a girl. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Stop praising her. I will praise her myself. <laughs> How are you? I cooked some kukuyam for you people, so for you and your friends, in appreciation for the help people gave to me at the market the other day. Uh, uh. You, you, you shouldn't have ordered. Eh. Yeah. Mm, it's not necessary. Okay, it's not too late. I'll just take it home. No, Come on, come on. 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 Come
She you had the girl. She brought it for us, us. You and your friends. Husband, wife, friends. Mary, where are you coming from? I thought you were in the kitchen with your mother. Um, Papa, I went to my friend's house to give him some of the cocoa yam. What? Oh, we don't even have enough to eat. Yet you dish the little we have out to your friends. Why did you do that? I've not even paid for the cocoa yam. Mama, I'm sorry. I thought it was the only way to show appreciation to Francis for helping me in the market. Who is, who is Francis? Who is Francis? It's my friend. You keep a male friend? Papa, you know now. I don't know how to. I don't keep female friends. Then you would have come into the world being born a boy. You do things like boys. Papa, why are you always saying these things, eh? Am I not doing well as a girl? You are, my dear. In fact, I adore you. Hmm? Now, go inside. I've dished your food already. Okay, thank you, Mama. I'm okay. sorry, sir. Why can't you make this girl to be comfortable? Have I said I don't like her sex? I never complain. I only... I know. She has done more than a boy can do. Remember she fought for you. You remember? Uh, I remember. She reminds me of my youthful age. I was a good wrestler, you know. Mm hmm. Now I know where she got this her fighting instinct. It's from you. Well, well. Uh, you may say she got it from me. And the good heart. She got that too from you. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? My rib. Uh, it jumps when I laughed. Then stop laughing. You can be serious. I can someone laugh. <laughs> don't laugh, please. Don't laugh. Sorry. Sorry. Mama Mary, I've had enough of this your story and I don't need it anymore. Today you give me my money. Ah uh ah. -uh. Since two weeks now, since you came to my shop and purchased food stuff, since then you've been avoiding me. Take it easy. It's not that I am avoiding you. And it's not that I don't want to pay you your money. But please, my husband has been sick. Please. And how is that my business? Mama Mary. Just go inside there and get me my money. I didn't come here to play. Oh. Okay. Please, give me till tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow? Oh, my sister. I am not living here without my money. Huh? So just give me my money. Oh. Today, today. What's going on here? Why this ranting? I purchased food items from her on credit. That's why she's here. Over two weeks now, and she has been avoiding me. So now I'm here, I need my money. <sighs> All right. How much is the money? 515 naira. No! I purchased food items worth 420. So you didn't know it would generate interest? When you delay paying me my money, my money is 515 naira. Nkechi, this is unfair. Uh -huh. That's my it's unfair. Mm. Uh, Mamere, it's all right. I think I still have some change with me. I have 320 naira. Yeah. Uh, you will take it. I will send Mary to bring the balance to you when she returns. Make sure you send her, or as when I come back, I'll create a scene. Date us. Go and tell poverty to free you people from bondage, you. God damn. Ah, uh, Ma. Are you? It's okay. You've always told me not to give up the struggle. Uh, I think uh, 
we need to seek knowledge on these are our issues. Knowledge? Yes. How do you mean? We have to find out what actually is our problem. Because uh, uh, somebody or something is behind it is no longer ordinary. And I want to put a final stop to it. Oh, let's go inside. You're right. The gods say your problems are not ordinary. I knew it. Please tell us what is the cause or who is behind all our misfortunes. Your wife here has a secret that she has to tell you. Secret? I don't have any secret to. Are you saying that the gods are lying? She has a secret that she has to tell you. And it's only when she tells you, it will be an open door to your success. Ma, you heard what the Dibia said. So tell me which secret you have. Let us do away with this curse upon us. I've told you, I have no secret. I've kept nothing away from you. But you were there. You heard him. It's not like you weren't there. You heard the man say it. So tell me the secret you are keeping away from me. Or are you a witch? No, I am not a witch. Shukuma, I am not a witch. I said I am not. What kind of silly question is that? Eh, Chukuma? Then why is our misfortune being linked to you? Eh? There should be something deep about it. Tell me the secret so we solve this together. I have no secret. And I've kept nothing away from you. Ma, come back here. Ma, come back here. I said, come back. I've not finished with you yet. So you, you chased the boy into the room and saw people dressed in white. There were nine of them. They didn't say a word. But they all looked so scary. 
So what happened to the boy? I don't know. He he changed into something. I can't even explain it. Francis, me, I'm worried. Though. Eh? I've never had this kind of dream in my whole life. Listen, it, it's nothing. It's just a dream, okay? Trust me. You think so? I know so. You know what? Why don't we forget about dreams and nightmares and talk about us? Me, I'm worried. I'm worried though. Huh? Besides, it's getting late. My parents will be wondering where I am. I guess I'll come back. We'll talk about those tomorrow. Good night. Do you think you are being unfair with your decision? What decision? Your decision not to tell me what you are keeping away from me. Why are you not believing me? I've told you time with that number over and over again. I have not been hiding anything. I have no secret. My wife. There is no need to be stubborn about this. Eh? I promise you I won't get angry or upset with you. Even if it is the worst thing you have ever done. There is nothing the eyes have not seen under the sun. Chupuma. Chupuma. What sort of thing is this? Why accuse me of something I know nothing about? Eh? Nobody is accusing you. You are accusing me. You said I have secrets. That I am hiding from something from you. And I've told you time without number that I'm not hiding anything. In fact, Chukuma, if you have something you want to confess, go ahead and confess it and let me be. Oh, okay, this is thing. Hey, two sitting here. Confess. Let me be. Confess it because can you do one day thank her? My brother, it's been over a year since you last visited this house. You don't even want to check how I am doing with my family. Um, Jed, I'm sorry about that. I've not been myself for some time now. You should at least send a message once in a while. You are the only family I have. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Huh? Okay. It's okay. You're welcome. <sighs> Thank you. You're welcome, sir. She has gone really big. <laughs> yeah, good <laughs> care of her. <laughs> oh, I am trying. <laughs> um, okay. Brother, you don't look so good. What brings you? Yes. I have problems. Things are getting worse for me by the day. <laughs> How do I go about this? God, how do I go about this? No, I don't know. I don't know how to do it. God help me. Do I tell him? How do I go about this, God? Hi. Nemo. 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 He's a... Francis, let's go home. Why? Don't you like it here? It's not like I don't like it. It's, it's just that 
me and you would displease. Mm. Anything can happen. <laughs> Mary Magdalene. So you're scared of being alone with me? Hmm? It's not as if mm. I don't trust you. Mm. It's just that mm. I don't understand my body again. Mm. Well, your body is telling you to come close to me, kiss me, and let me teach you how to be a woman. Hmm? No, no. Ma. So you don't want to confess? Ma, you don't want to confess? That's why the BBS warning that you must confess the secret to me before our daughter turns 30. Ma, we have no time. We don't have time. Tell me what secret you are keeping away from me. Chukuma, leave me alone. No, leave me alone. Chukuma, leave me alone. Leave me alone. You have no secret to confess, well? You don't have any secret to confess. <coughs> All right. Mm. Okay, so, so, okay so, so, so stop, stop, stop. It's okay. It's okay. Why? I don't want to do it again. But I won't. Francis, so you want to do something like this to me in, in this bush? What is wrong with this place? Nobody would know. Hmm? Come. <laughs> no, I don't want Francis. Francis, stop, stop. Out! Don't try this kind of rubbish with me again, no. Francis. 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 What is it? Somebody help me! Somebody help! Hey! Somebody help me! 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 Ma, ma, tell me what you did to destroy my life. Either you tell me now, I kill you and kill myself. I said, tell me what you did. What kill you and kill myself now? Jesus is not. What is going on here? Nothing. See, Mary, I don't think it's a good idea for you to go in there. Yes. I think you should wait for the chiefs to come in first. Don't worry, they'll soon be here. What? What are you talking about? See, Mary, please, please be patient. Please.
stubborn sometimes, but not to the extent of killing his wife. He loved that woman. This is terrible. An album. Yes. They need to be buried. And very soon. Yes, I understand the tradition of our people. Does not allow the immediate burial of corpses of such. Please, my elders. What are the items needed for the burial of these corpses to be found? This is an issue of murder and the suicide. They have to. Go through cleansing before the edge will accept their cops. All different disasters and calamities will befall this town. If we don't want this such to happen. No. We don't want such to happen. Every detail of the ritual must be adhered to. Please, Chiedike, read out the items for the ritual. <coughs> These items are a part of each cause. Seven white feathered cocks, seven white feathered pigeons, seven gallons of palm oil, seven arigote pepper, seven coconut, seven white arapas, seven guinea fowls, and seven cows. My idols. Where is she going to get the money from? And these items are to be doubled, which means that we will require at least one million naira or more. Where is she going to get the money from? Are you asking us? Are we the ones who ask her parents to kill themselves? Well, uh, men, stop crying and think of a possible way to raise money for the items. Where? How? You all know my parents died. Will the money suddenly surface now that they are dead? Where will it come from? Mary, you need not know yourself. Your father's brother here will assist you. Assist with what? My scrotum? Chinedu. What about other members of your family? Can't they assist? As if you don't know that it's only I and my late brother that were left. The rest died one after the other, after the death of our father. You all are no strangers to our family. 
ministry. So why the pretense? Why? Well, Jinedu, as it stands right now, there's not much we can do. These items must be provided before they can be buried. Yes. And we have spoken. If you had listened to me years before night Goma, all these wouldn't have happened. Now see what you have brought upon your family. No. Hi. What do you want? Francis, I have come to see you. For what? Francis, my parents died in one day. And you haven't even come to see me. See you. See you for what? So that you can finish me off. Huh? So that you can finish me off. Look, I don't want to have anything to do with you again. So just leave me alone. Francis, please. Don't say it. Don't talk like that. I have no one else. Francis, please, I beg you. I need help. Please. Help? Okay. Uh... You have not buried your parents. No, I haven't. <laughs> so, where do I come in? Am I your husband? Am I your husband? Am I related to you in any way? Am I a member of your family? Eh? If you want help, go far away, far away and look for help. Leave me alone now. Mary. Do you know I love you? Uh, well, I know. Small. So you know? Mm. Okay. So tell me, sincerely, why don't you let me touch you? But you touch me now. I mean, touch you, touch you. you know. Oh, 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 wait. You mean sex? Yes. Mm. Anyway, I told you that I was not ready. 
I want to go back to school. Besides, I don't even want to do it until I am married. So I have to wait till we're married. You said you want to marry me, right? Yes. Uh -huh. You go and see my parents. Well, I, I, I want to, but... Look, I, I am not ready. You, you, you know, before we get married, I should be a bit comfortable so I can take care of us. You see? See why I said you have to wait? We both have to wait. That's what you've been saying for over a year now. Should wait. For how long? Okay. Maybe by my next birthday. Maybe. Or your next birthday. <laughs> okay. By my next birthday. And when is that? It's in two months' time. Hey, baby, my yolk. Oh, 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 baby, my yolk. Wait, oh. wait. <laughs> wait so all this, all this enjoy, uh, rejoicing now is for one thing. Mm, one thing. <laughs> hey. Wait, one thing. Now imagine. Mary Magdalene and Francis Ukebu. No, Mary, my darling. Hey. So all these names now because of this one thing. No? One thing. One thing. Can I hug you now? No, no, stay one please. Okay, bring your hand. Hey, Jehovah. I'm touching you. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> kiss. No, no kiss. It's from this kissing now, you now want to be touching. <laughs> Baby Maggie. <laughs> Francis. Francis. Do you hate me this much? I should be asking you that question if you hate me that much. If you hate me so much that you had to use juju on me. You almost killed me. Francis. Francis, that was an accident. Francis, you know I would never hurt you. I never used any juju on you, Francis. I would not... Liar. 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 Why are you lying? You think I'm such a child that I do not know when juju is used on me? You do that, you used on me like a bolt of fire that hit my soul. Now you have come back for part two so that you can finish what you started. It will not work. Please, just go away. Mrs. I beg of you. I, I, I... Hey, 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 hey. Leave me alone. I didn't come near you. Francis, yeah? please, no. No, please, I beg you. Look, look, if not for anything, I would have just carried you and thrown you up. I don't want to come near you. Go. Oh, go now, go now. Is it my fault? Go now. Go to your house now. Yeah. Go, go, go. Thank you, go. Go. Native doctor. Juju. Principality. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Mary, have you eaten? Let me get you food now. Hmm, Auntie, I've not eaten. But that is the least of my problems right now. Auntie, it's been four days. Four days since my parents died. There's, there's no preparation whatsoever towards their burial. Huh? I don't have any money. The demands of the elders, according to tradition, considering how my parents died, are too high. See, I don't know what to do. I'm just tired and I'm just frustrated. If I tell you that I don't know what you're talking about, I lie. I do. The truth is, there's no money everywhere. Two months back, I had to bury my mother. Just last two weeks, I paid my daughter's school fees. I am yet to recover from all that. I understand you. But how about your uncle? What effort is he making? I don't know. I want to believe that there's also running around trying to raise money. He himself is broke. He doesn't have any money. It's okay, Mary. The women will be having their meeting this evening. 
I'll see what we can do to raise money amongst ourselves. Auntie, thank you very much. It's God okay. bless you. Thank you. God will reward you a thousand times. It's okay. Thank you. Don't worry. Your mother was a very good friend of mine. And a good woman at that. Thank you, Auntie. Don't worry, Mary. Thank you. Just hold on. I'm coming. Auntie, thank you. Please, use it to buy yourself food. Okay? God bless you, Auntie. It's okay. Thank you. It's thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, please. I hope all is well, Mary. Uncle, all is not well. My parents' cops are still like they unattended to. Uncle, please. Uncle, help me. You are the only family I know, please. I cannot keep alive. My parents' cops are like them, please. <sighs> Mary, your God sees me. There is nothing I have not done to raise money. But no one wants to borrow me. I've even tried selling the only plot of land I have in the bush. But they say it is too deep into the bush. They don't want it. There is nothing I have anybody wants. But tonight, there must be a way out of this. Eh? Can't the elder do something to reduce the demand? It is just too much. It is too much. Right. Almost a million naira to perform the ritual on two of them. <laughs> Where do we get the money from? Oh God, oh God, please help me. Please help me. Piri, oh please. Please stop crying, oh. Come on, surely make your way out of this. When? When is it when they are all decayed? When will God help me? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, the truth about it is the sooner we get started with that land the better because once the rains come it might be difficult to get people who would want to work on it so it's better for us that way uh, that's just what I think um, Francis hmm? is that not your girl Mary coming over from there oh boy oh boy pretend 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 you can't see her. Pretend. Why? She no longer your girlfriend. Don't you, what kind of foolish question is that? Are you the only one in this village who does not know she's walking around with a curse? Or how else do you explain the fact that her father killed her mother and then killed himself by committing suicide? Look. Avoid her. And to add to it, you almost lost your life with her. Carl is the way God will bless you. The way God will bless you. Look, she is carrying a curse. Avoid her. Francis. Guys, she's gone. Cursed demon, witch, principality, Guys. native doctor. Francis. What? Don't you think we're being too hard on her? She's still our friend now. Hey, hey. Tochuku. Tochuku. That girl is a curse. Leave her alone. You will, you will die, you. You will die, you. Okay. I even hear her parents are yet to be buried. Buried how? For how long? How? Hey, yeah. So they are still in the mortuary. Oh, God, the riba. Mortuary. In your dreams. They are still in the house. You lie, Alice. You lie. I mean, how can they possibly still be in that house after they died? 
Don't smell now. Eh, Tochuku. Traditionally, when an abomination like this is committed, their corpses cannot be put in the mortuary with other corpses until all the traditional spiritual rites have been completed. If not, they will stay in that house for as long as possible. Simple. Yeah, so she keeps them in the house. Hmm. Oh. See, I even hear she goes from one place to another, one compound, one family to another, looking forward to borrow money from. Oh. Chai. But doesn't she have a family? Hey. This guy is asking questions. What about? Tochuku. Tochuku. I swear if I had known you wanted to ask me these questions, I would have stopped Mary and pushed you to her so that you can ask her all these stupid mumu questions you are asking me now. Oh boy, you don't irritate me. Man, I don't lie you with all these kind of mumu mumu questions. No, no, no. I beg you. You never reach like No, if you want to date her now, date. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. She's not far. I'll go and meet her. Ask you asking stupid questions. Guys, you never reach like that now. Mama, Papa, I can't get help anywhere. Hmm? How do I explain this? But I couldn't wear my parents. I let them rot in this room. God, why? What did I do? What is that sin that I committed that you pay me back like this? Why don't you just kill me? Just kill me! Kill me, oh! Just kill me. <laughs> this place stinks. That is Mary's parents oozing. She herself smells like the cops. You both are mad. Since you do not know how to mind your business. Who is she? Is she talking to us? Don't you know her? Mary the smelling cops. It is you who is a smelling cops. And who are you, by the way? We are your worst night's men. To buy melon and um sorry, these ones are not for sale. Please try someone else. 
Madam, but this is not for sale now. Madam, just... I said don't touch it. Go somewhere else, Biko. I said don't touch it. Look on the mobile. Good morning, Wong. Uh, please, I want to buy melon and red oil. Sell to who? Are you not Mary? Mary Magdalene, as they call you. Yes, I am. Mba, I won't sell to you. Leave my shop. Leave my shop with your cost money. I don't want trouble. Oh, why? Eh? Are we quarreling? I only just came here to buy something now. Do you, have I offended you in any way? Mary, when you finish talking, you leave my shop. I will not sell you. Why, 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 why now? It's not as if you, do you know me from anywhere? If I now say, let me now sell for myself, you call me a bad person, no. Why will you sell for yourself? Is this your shop? Leave my shop with your customer. I don't want trouble. Leave my shop. Carry your customer and be walking about everywhere. Is it by force to sell to you? Excuse me. Uh, please, I'm lost. I'm looking for direction. Me too, I'm lost. I'm also looking for directions. Uh, uh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, please. I'm actually looking for direction. I'm not trying to take advantage of you. Um, kindly um, tell me where uh, Ebuka's land is, somewhere um, near a river. Uh, the Afo River? Yes, precisely Afo River. Yeah. That place is not a place I can just describe for you to go. Otherwise, you'll find yourself in the next village. So you need to go and look for somebody that will take you there. Or you just turn back and go home. <laughs> no, I must be there today, really. Eh, hey, go now. Uh, no, okay, better still, why don't you be my guide? What? Me? Your guide? Yes. Yeah. So I want a customer to sit close to him. Uh, uh, excuse me, excuse me. I, I don't understand what you meant by that, please. Okay, nothing. I just said that I am not interested. I find somebody else that will take you there. I'm going home, oh? I'll pay. I'll pay for the service, yes. Eh. How much? How much do you want to pay? How much do you want? Eh, I, one million. One million naira. Please don't be ridiculous. Okay, I'll pay you a thousand naira for every mile we drive. You're sure? Yes. Okay, um, should I walk and I'll be directing you or? Of course, I don't expect you to walk while I drive. Please come in. You pay. Oh. You take the next turn right. You don't talk much, do you? Well, my name is Tony. What's yours? I don't have a name. All right, miss, I don't have a name. Are you a native of this village? I, 
I don't mind getting acquainted with you, you know. I'm not interested. See, let me just tell you something. Not because I'm in this car just to show you direction that you think you can you can sweet talk me into bed as you as you do with the other girls that you flash your wealth at. Hey, 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 come on, come on, please, please slow down. I didn't mean to offend you, really. And you know, it's just a kind gesture, that's it. Keep it to yourself. I'm not interested. I'm just here to guide you. I'm not one of those girls that you can flash your wealth at and they'll come they'll, they'll just follow you to bed. Please take the next turning before you go and drive us off the cliff. Can you imagine? Uh, the land starts from this palm tree here and goes right, it, it's all, you know, from here to, till that um, pathway that we cross to this other side. Uh -huh. The whole of this place is his land. And then the river, you were asking of, is just across this land now. That's where the Afro River is. Pay me my money. I want to go. Three thousand now for three miles. Okay, thank you. Um, one more thing, please. Um, uh, I can't find my way back. Yeah, I need guardians, really. But are you daft? How can you tell me that the road I just brought you from, just right now, to this place, you can't find your way back? <laughs> As a matter of fact, no, really. That's the favor I need from you. Or oh, is this another trick that you're using to lure me into your moto? So you start another round of brainwashing? On the contrary, nothing like that really. You see, it's been a long time I left this village, you know, so I'm here, you know, to invest. I, I want to build a filling station, you know, yeah. Huh? Yes. Where? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey. Oh, wait, oh. Why, why are these rich people always very... I don't, they cannot reason at all. They are very empty. So you want to build a filling station here? Yes. Inside this village? Yes. Hmm. Let me even ask you. On our way to this place, how many cars did you see? So instead of you to go to the express, where there are so many undeveloped lands there, and there are motorists plying that road morning, afternoon and night, that would see you and patronize and buy your fur. You want to come inside this village where nobody will buy from you. Oh, it's all right. You're very smart, you know. I never thought of that. You're smart. Thank you. Uh, please, please, please. Really, I need guardians to go back. Hey, hey li listen, listen, brother. My name is not Guardian Angel. Okay? I am not giving you any, any other guardians. I'm going. But just take my advice. Don't build any filling station on this land. Go to the express, all those undeveloped land, get one and build filling station. There you find motorists that will buy your fuel for you. So that tomorrow now you now come and say that uh, this village and the people who live here are cursed and are witches. And that is why your filling station has not progressed. Mary, Mary, hope you've not been starving yourself. How are you? I'm fine, Auntie. Nobody wants to sell me any food ingredient in the market again. 
Nobody wants to have anything to do with me. I understand. But we, 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 we need to look for an alternative way of buying food. I will buy it myself and bring it to you. Okay? Thank you. Okay. Hmm. What is that smell? It's from inside. They have started smelling. I'm sure the elders will be happy about this because it seems like this is just what they want. Mm -mm. That stench is too much for you, Mary. And you sleep in there? How do I have a choice? Nobody wants to have anything to do with me. I have no other choice but to stay in here with them. After all, they're still my parents. But it's not healthy for you. You can fall sick. Hmm? And, and die. Will that not be what everybody wants? At least if I die, all these problems will be over. Mary, please don't talk like that. Don't talk like someone that has given up hope. And they have given up hope. I am helpless here. I am confused. I don't know what to do. There is no way of raising money. Nobody wants to help. Please. Okay, please. It's okay. It's okay. Mary. Uncle. Good afternoon, sir. Who are these men? Um, I brought them to help do some local environment so as to slow the decay. Giving us more time to search for money. Come with me. Okay, sir. At least something is being done. Hmm? Don't cry. I have something for you. We were able to raise some money yesterday from the women's meeting. Here. It's 30,000 Naira. I know it won't be enough. But at least. Let's hope you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ah, Jano, Jano, Madam, I want to buy uh, okra, pepper, and um, crayfish. Mary, Mary, please, sorry, I'm not selling. You can try somewhere else. It's not like I came to buy your goods on credit. I have money here with me. Even with that, I am not selling. Try somewhere else. Why would you not sell? Oh, because you think I'm cost Abby? I haven't said so. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Since you will not sell, don't worry. I will sell for myself. Mary, leave my shop for me. Mary, leave my shop. Mary, leave my shop. Come, Come and stop me selling. now. Come and leave stop me. Leave my shop, Mary. Come and Mary, stop me. Mary, leave my shop. I am not selling. Like leave my shop for me, Mary. I said I'm not selling. Leave my shop, Mary. Never, so. Mary, leave my shop for me. I am not selling. Mary, leave my shop for me. I'm not selling. Look at your money. It's complete. I don't want. Take your money. So even want. my money is cost. Mm, I don't want. Hey. Okay, thank you very much leave for the shop. gift. Eh? Leave my shop, thank Mary. Eh, I forgot. Mary, leave uh, my shop crayfish. for me. Oh. Leave my shop. Crayfish. Um, never, so never. Mm -hmm. Mary, leave my shop for me now. Huh? Have you missed your way again? 
No, I haven't. I did ask questions and they said I could meet you up here. Well, thank you for the advice you gave me the other day. You did save me. What advice? Yeah, with regards to the choice of land to buy for my filling station. Oh, did you eventually buy the one on the express? Yes, I did. Ah, good for you. Uh, I'll be on my way. Uh, please, 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 please. Where are you headed? Um, let me drop you off. Don't worry, I'll be fine. No, please, please. Uh, let me show my appreciation for the good advice you gave me, please. You don't give up, do you? No, I don't. So please, can I drop you off? Please? Can I put my bag in the boot? Uh, the back seat would be better. She should have allowed me to open the door for you. Uh -huh. Open the boots. Let me remove my boots. Let me remove my boots. Well, not until you have given me audience. Are you, are you seizing my things? No, I'm not. But I know for sure if I give your stuff to you, you wouldn't talk to me again. Oh, so you think you can keep my things or seize my things and then force me to talk to you? Mr. Man, let, let, let me just tell you. I have my own problems. I don't want any extra problem from anybody. Now open this car, let me remove my bag. Otherwise you will not know you will not understand what I'll do to you. I'm going to scatter this car and scatter you go and ask people. I don't play like that at all. You don't need to get aggressive, really, okay? Alright, I just want to get to know you. That's it. Okay, for starters, my name is Tony. I'm from the neighboring village and um can we have a handshake? Ah, oh, please. What is this now? Okay, you want to know me? Fine. My name is Mary. I am the one everybody in this village refers to as the cost girl. And this is where I live. Now, can you open the car? Let me take my bag. Or you want me to start des redesigning this car for you? I know for sure you don't mean what you said with regards to you being cursed, okay? Um, do you live here with your parents? Yeah. What kind of exams question is this one? Give me my bag. Let me go. Yes, I live with my parents. Okay. Um, can I get to meet them? Your parents, yeah. You see, I want to make our friendship much more comfortable to you and to them. I mean, they know you're of age and uh, you should have male friends. <laughs> hey, Mary. You have suffered. Mm. You want to meet my parents? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Hi. It's alright. <laughs> no problem. Mm. Bring my bag from inside your car. Uh, yeah. Let's go and meet my parents. Great, great, great. Great. Yeah. Yes. Okay, yes. Let's go. Let me have the bag just in case you become very much in a hurry to leave. What's that smell? Oh, the smell. Mm. Sometimes they produce this kind of smells, you know, once in a while. Mm. Hey, but don't allow them to see you cover your nose. Though. They might get very upset and send you away. Just pretend like the smell is nice. Mm. Eh? Let's see my parents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so um, where are they? Um, they are inside, they are resting. Okay. Come on, let's go. Uh, are, you, are you sure? Don't worry. They are inside. Come with me. Okay. 
Heavens will fall. Let it fall. I have to wear my parents. I have to wear my parents. Any which way, I'll please. bury them. Mary, wait, wait, wait. There will be consequences. Uncle. Uncle. Uncle, I'm have to wear my parents. I have to wear my parents. No, I know, but parents. not like this. Uncle, no, stop. I have to wear my parents. Stop before somebody will see you. Stop. Uncle. Stop. Go I have the house. to bury my parents. I know. Go inside the house before somebody will see you. Go, go, go. Go, go, go! Mary, we were lucky nobody saw us covering the hole. But as long as the cops is still intact inside the house, they will have nothing to say. Mary, do you believe my brother, your father, actually killed his wife, your mother? I don't even know what to believe anymore. I don't know what to believe anymore. Some people say that they saw them with the knife. But if actually he killed her, why would he, why would he kill himself as well? Well, um, there is a lot we don't know. A week before that terrible incident, your father visited me in my house and complained about your mother. What did he complain about my mother? He said that your mother and himself went to seek for answers to all the troubles that have been coming their way, and they got an answer. Did they say that my mother was responsible for all the predicaments they were going through? Or, or, or did, they, did they label her a witch? No, no. He said that uh, the man asked your mother to confess to some secret to him before you turn 30. Or there will be problems beyond what they are already facing. Uh, she chose not to confess to him. So, he killed her? Oh God! Oh God! But what secrets could my mother could have possibly been keeping? She didn't say. She chose to die with it. I'm sorry, Mary. My brother didn't kill your mother. They were both doomed by time to something greater. But only your mother knew this. And she chose to die with it. Uh, Mary, I think I will be going now. Uh, at least let me... Let me get off this, this clothes. 
I, I will come back to check on you when I'm well rested. Okay? I didn't do anything. Please don't let them take my, my parents come to the back of you. Please. Please help me. Please. Give us some time, please. We'll get all the items requested. We'll get it ready. Be gone. Oh. No need. The process has started. What? Elders, please don't do this. Because, because. What is wrong with you people? Is this not what you wanted? We are at the verge of cleansing so that you can lay your parents to rest. And you want to stop us. I, I, I don't understand. We, we don't I, understand. It has all been settled. The whole items have been bought. Hey. Huh? Look at me. Oh. But, 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 oh. By, by who? Your friend. Oh, you didn't know this? I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have any friends. Mary, <laughs> who is that young man standing over there? Or oh, don't you know him? Tony, you know I have not really thanked you enough. What could we have done without you? Uh, please, Uncle, it's nothing. It's nothing really. I mean, I did what I thought was best for Mary here. I mean, it's hard to know that her parents' cops were lying in the house unattended. I did ask questions and, you know, got educated as to what really happened. I couldn't have turned my back on her, so I did what was right, help her. I don't know how to thank you enough. I don't know how to say thank you. For all the shame you took away from me. For everything that you have done. I don't even think I can ever pay you back. Or I can even ever say thank you enough. I just want to say that my God will bless you. Amen, amen, amen. Mary, Mary, Mary please, please. I mean, you have been thanking me for too long now. The important thing is that you're happy again. Ew, I'm so glad all these things are over. If not for anything, at least my husband cannot sleep very well. Thank you so much, Brother Tony. Uh, please, Madam, stop there. I mean, what's this Brother Tony thing? You're beginning to embarrass me, really. Don't blame us. We are just too happy. Eh? Mama Emeka, 
Go and get me that wine that I bought so that Tony can take it home. Uh, uh, please, 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 madam, not to worry. I don't take alcohol. I'm good. Um, okay, if you insist. I insist. And I have to be on my way now, sir. Okay, uh, Mary. Uncle. Uh, go and escort your friend, eh? Eh. Uh. Alright, thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. I think he's going to ask me to marry him. Eh. Yeah. Well, I don't think she will say no. She's old enough. Her mates already has two kids in their home. You know Mary now. Eh? She prefers jumping around the village thinking she's a boy. You know her now. I don't think she will say no. She also likes him. Don't you see the look in her face when she's talking to him? Hey, Papa Emeka, so you notice too. Hey! Do you think I'm too old or too blind to know when love is in the air? Hey, Papa Emeka! Hey! <laughs> yeah, um... I like to have this. What is this? Yeah. What do I need this for? Come on, it's just a little token. I want you to take care of yourself. Okay, get yourself some new clothes. You know, you know, get yourself good cream, perfume, new pair of slippers, and uh, you know, I want you to look good until I return from my trip. Your, your trip? Uh, are you traveling? Yeah, I'll be going to. South Africa, then Malaysia, then back to South Africa again. That will take you over a year? Nah, nah, nah two, three weeks max. No, what? What? No, 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 you told me you weren't going to cry again. No, I'm not crying, I'm, I'm sorry. Then stay happy, alright? I want you to be happy. Now, on a happy note, okay? I know for sure we didn't uh, start on a proper note, so um, I want us to start on a happy note this time around. You know, introduction to start with. Okay, my name is Mary. Okay, my name is Tony. I'm from the neighboring village, like I told you, and um, you know, I'm a very direct person. I like to hit the nail on the head, and hitting the nail on the head, I like you and um, I would want you to be my wife and I your husband. Um, is that a yes or no? <laughs> of course. I'd like to marry you. <laughs> you marry me? Yes. You marry me? <laughs> yeah. I'm so happy and I'll take care of you. I promise. I would have been so mad if you hadn't asked. <laughs> mm -hmm. Have you seen Mary of Ladies? Hi! You see? Have you seen Mary lately? Oga? Okay. Where you they bring up all these questions where you they normally ask? See Mary for what? Huh? The, uh, the, we are here discussing on how our lives will get better. And you are bringing up talks about one cost girl. You do like us. Oh boy, I'll kill me. Hmm? I have it. You know, ever since she buried her parents, me never see her. So I say, make her ask her. No, I don't see her. I don't do bad. Simple now. Ah. Maybe she decided to lock up herself in the house and not come out. Why? Why she go lock herself up? Shame. Mm -hmm. eh? uh -huh. She's ashamed. Shame. Shame. Uh, come on, guys. How did she manage to raise money, you know, and pay for the rituals? I'm sure she went to borrow. Who cares? Hey! Francis is here. Who tell you that one? Well, I had uh, some good guy from uh, abroad pay the bills. <laughs> you know, you myself is here. Liar. Liar, liar. Which guy? 
Who wants to associate himself with that cursed family? Who? Tell me now. Hmm. No man. No man on this earth can risk paying such money. At all. No man. It can't happen. So, Tochiku, Apuko Dakuko, leave story for my man. It can't happen. Okay, you know the building where you dropped me? Okay, I'm right behind it. I'm standing on that one tree. Just come down, I'm in a hurry. Alright. Lala, it can't happen. Happen. Guys, 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 guys. Guys, guys, guys. Oh, well, you know, I see that girl. Check out that beautiful girl, they come our way. Oh, Chilo. Oh, boy. That's my kind of girl, though. Hmm. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. Francis just stayed here. I saw this girl first. I saw her first. Okay, you saw her first. Now is a talent. Now talent. <laughs> Don't you have a girlfriend? So? Uh -huh, I have a girlfriend, so who said I can't have to? Uh, you see, check out this girl. She's more beautiful, more prettier than my girl. So don't blame me for wanting us. Nice. I'm gonna slow down now. It's too often I won't begin fight over a person I don't know. <laughs> she could be married already, you know. <laughs> you know what that means. Lawyer mm Ibama, -hmm. uh, <laughs> when I need you to advise me, <laughs> you, <are> me. <laughs> you advise me. But on this one, I'm coming. Ah, Let Francis. me buy something, I'm coming. Francis, mm -hmm. I'm coming. you finally move. So you get closer. <laughs> Hello, sister. Um, can I talk to you for one minute? Lord of Jesus. Mary Magdalene. Jesus is Lord. Mary, Mary Magdalene! <laughs> My friend, stop behaving like a castrated monkey. Francis, what do you want? No, I, I, I didn't know it was you. Obviously. Well, now you know. Would you still want to talk to me? Mary, the cursed girl. Francis, have you suddenly gone dumb? Or you swallowed your tongue? Our, Our Mary! Mary. Oh, shut up! Our Mary! No, I'm, I'm sorry. If I'd known it was you, I would not have. So next time, do not ever think of trying to stop me. If you do, you will regret it. Stupid fool. Where are you? I'm here, madam. Where's the car? The car is over there. Yes, how may I help you? Hey! Hey, Uncle, please. Don't tell me you don't recognize me. Am I supposed to? Uncle, it's me, Mary Magdalene. Chineke! Mary! Uncle. Mary, are you... Uncle, it's me! Good gracious. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Just these few months in Lagos. Uncle is God, though. Eh? Tony is so good to me. Yes, it's written all over you. I can see it with my eyes. <laughs> Please, let's sit down. Uh, let's come, come, come on. Where is that um, She has gone to the market to buy some food items. Yeah. She will soon be back. Okay. 
Hey, Uncle, hmm? how have you been? I am fine. Please, Mary, just tell me all about this at Lagos. I will <laughs> tell you everything. <laughs> Hey, hey, Nemo, mm. holy mother of Christ. Mm -hmm. Do you know if I had passed you on the way, I wouldn't have recognized you. Are you oh. serious? Hey. <laughs> Mary Mandaline. Auntie, Jesus is Lord. Oh. Hey, <laughs> my goodness. Look at how beautiful you have suddenly become. <laughs> I thought it was my eyes that were deceiving me. <laughs> hey. Hey. Do you know this boy has really done well? He has really taken care of you. Just look at you, Mary. Auntie Tony is very nice. Hey! He takes very good care of me. Uh, Honestly. Sure, sure, sure. Hey. As a matter of fact, he bought clothes for you and Papa. Eh? Hey. Uh, he bought clothes for me? Yes, so. Eh? Hey. Who am I now? Uh, hey. Auntie, you're very important too. Hey. <laughs> hey. Thank hey. you very much, in the moon. Look how beautiful you are. Thank you. Hey. Thank you. Do you know what? Let me go in and prepare something for you to eat for then I will come back and sit down and talk. Oh? <laughs> eh? Oh? Uh -huh. You better make it that your special Ofo Nubu. Ah, uh, uh, now you know what I can do now, eh? <laughs> eh? I want to go to my father's house. I'm sure he would need some cleaning. Eh, uh, Mary, that will be after the meal. Because she will accompany you to help you, eh? Okay. Mm. Wait, oh, wait. Have you seen Mary's special car? Look at how big it is. Hey! Mary's car, officer, my car is one of uh, Tony's car. Eh? <laughs> now, what belongs to Tony is also your you. car. Meanwhile, <laughs> no. I forget to mention, Tony and I are going to get married. Eh? Uh, you mean a date has already been chosen? Yes, so hey! next month. Oh, that's very good. Hey, I am now very happy. Eh? In that case, um, that will give me some time. To raise some money to support Uncle, you. Uncle, you don't need to raise any money. Huh? Tony is very comfortable. Mm. Eh, as a matter of fact, he's taking care of everything. Yeah. <gasps> In that case, what are we waiting for? It means everything is set. It's just to go and get married. That's <laughs> <it>. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Hey. Francis, are you doing here this time of the night? Um, nothing. Nothing? Yes, sir. Nothing, Francis. Please, go in and sleep. Hmm? The night is meant for sleeping. And if you still insist on worrying, do that during the day. Eh? Be good. Papa, I'm not, uh, I'm not worrying. Um, I'll be fine. I should worry, eh? Don't worry, mommy. I'll be fine. I'll, I'll go into the rest of Well, um, if you say so, then I'll be leaving. Yes. Please, go and sleep, eh? I will, sir. Please, my dear. I will, sir. Huh? Okay. Oh, you guys, uh, see, maybe we need to ask for an advance before we start work on that land. I mean, we know the grass on that land is very stubborn, so stubborn. We need to go to the mills to sharpen our cutlasses before we start work on the land. Yeah, I think it's better that way. Oh, Francis, what do you think? What's wrong with him? I don't know. He's been like this all day. Francis. Francis. Mm. Mm. Sorry, sorry. Are you here? <laughs> sorry. Uh, so sorry. I was lost in my thoughts. Yeah. 
You were really lost, it's obvious. Francis, what troubles you? Nothing. Uh, I was just thinking about a lot of things. Like Mary Magdalene. <laughs> <laughs> really? Francis, were you thinking about Mary? Yes, I have. I think we've been unfair to her. She was our friend. My girl. I knew it. I knew you were going to change your mind. I knew. I know you. I know you. Huh. Right. Don't you cry. You're right. <laughs> over, yeah. over, over, over right, they worry me. The other day, no, girl is wait. Don't ask me. The other day, what did he tell me? I knew what I was saying about the girl. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. You are, you are Yeah, I'm irritating. You are speak English. Guy, ever since you set your eyes on Mary, now a real beauty. But you lose them, you lose composition. Guy, oh, oh, Francis has fallen in love with her the second time. <laughs> oh. Francis, so, is this Mumu speaking the truth? Yes, he is. Francis, are you out of your mind? Have you lost your mind? Huh? Wait. You want to go after a girl who almost killed you in the bush? A girl whose parents died in an abominable way? A cursed girl? Hey, hey, hey! Francis, just just stop! Stop! Enough! Enough! Look, she was our friend. Okay? My girl. And then when she needed us most, we, we failed her, we betrayed her. Hmm. I can't believe you're saying this. Okay, let me ask you one question. Were you not the one who swore with everything you called holy never to have anything to do with that girl again? Were you not the one? Answer me. I was. Uh huh. Then I was like a child blinded by lies. Now I know better. No, oh, let me laugh for you. <laughs> big boy, you're yeah, a big boy now. Nah. <laughs> shut up! Don't you shut up! Shut your mouth, shut your trap. If you don't have anything to say, just keep quiet. Shut up! Mature no idea. We're discussing something, you, you, you're just laughing, making it... Um, see, Francis, all I'm trying to say here is, you have to think about this over and over again before you make a wrong decision here. It's like you, so no wanting to. Francis, what do you want from me? I, I came to beg you to please forgive me. I, uh, I want you to take me back. Take you back? Where? Huh? Francis, there is no space for you in my life anymore. Francis, you, you abandoned me. You gave me up. You turned your back on me when I needed you most. And now you show your face around here and say you want me back? It's never going to happen. So you get lost. Mary, please. I 
I beg you, please forgive me. Remember the good times we shared? Oh yes, uh, of course I remember the good times we shared. But did you ever think about that? No! You thought I was not going to survive this, Francis. You, th you thought I was just going to die or something. Francis, you and your friends could not even as much as talk to me. You of all people, you abandoned me and left me by myself. You said I was cursed. Didn't you? Now what do you want with a cursed girl? Please. I, I know I was stupid. I, I, I was misled. Please, just forgive me. Okay. Take, take me back. Francis, okay. I forgive you. Thank you. I forgive all of those of you who forsook me in the past. But taking you back, my darling, it's never going to happen. As a matter of fact, my heart belongs to someone else. Someone who understands my life's value. I am getting married to someone else, Francis. So in your best interest, I advise you get out of here, get lost and remain lost forever. Mama, Papa, I am married now, just as you two have always wanted, a good man. He has promised to be everything to me, a mother, a father, a husband, my happiness. I wish you all were here to see him. But I'm sure you're watching, even as I speak. Papa, Mama, do not sleep. Protect me in all that I do. Do not leave me unprotected. Mama, I will name my first daughter after you. And my first son. I'll name after you, Papa. I love you both. And I miss you so much. They have heard you. I want you to get your tears out. And give me a beautiful smile on your beautiful face. Uh, I have to fill my tank. <laughs> Don't worry, your food is ready. I'm just going to serve it in a minute. Okay. Um. By the way, um, where are Mom and um, Timothy? Uh, they should still be in their rooms. I'm sure they'll come down whenever they're ready. In their rooms by this time. Look, seriously, must those two always be called down before Sweetheart, they Sweetheart, you are going to work, okay? You need to eat first. When they want to eat, I'm sure they'll come down and eat. <laughs> oh. You're not giving me last time because of you. <laughs> Mama, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Mom. <laughs> did you sleep well? Of course I did. Why won't I? Give me one reason why I shouldn't have. I miss my two handsome sons. 
Tony and Timothy. Hmm? Look at them. Fine boys. <laughs> Timothy here makes me laugh all the time. <laughs> and uh, my, my handsome son here, Tony, provides all my needs. Can't you see? I am fulfilled. I'm a complete woman. <laughs> um, Oga, who doesn't greet? Um, good morning, Your Highness. Good morning, bro. And how are you? I'm not fine. Meaning? Uh, my wife, can I have my food served? I am famished. But oh, Mama. Mama, how could you be talking about food when you know I have something important to say? And bro, what's up with the money you promised to give me? I've not heard a word from you. And I told you I'll give you on my return. But I told you I need the money urgent. Uh, Timothy! Timothy. Timothy, don't get me started, okay? Please, do not get me started. Any other time but now. Don't get me started this morning. I have told you I don't have a dime to give you, so don't push me. Please. What is wrong with you, Seth? Must you always be petty when you're asking for money? My fine son, please don't mind him, eh? Just find him a little thing that will ease off his worries, eh? Please. Thank you, Seth. Thank you, Seth. Thank you, Seth. Please, can you serve him that food? Okay, fine. Since we all want to eat food, nobody wants to listen to what I have to say. Fine, let's all eat food, but you have to serve me first. Timothy! Look at me. I said, look at me! Now, you see this woman? She is my wife. Okay? Now, if you would want my wife to serve you food in my house, you will ask her in a much more appropriate manner. Other than you acting like you are at some local restaurant ordering some local cheap food. Do you understand me? And so? I just lost my appetite. Uh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Um, Mom? That guy, do you know him? Is he your son? Is he my brother? Does he bear the same surname with us? I think he's alien. So I'll be out two weeks, max, okay? What about the car? Where will you leave it? I'll have it parked at the airport. Okay. Love you, okay? I love you too. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot. Uh, I forgot to give you money for food stuff. I know the store is empty. Yeah. Thank you. Now you buy whatever food stuff you need. And um, if you need more money, let me know. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Well, you take it on. And I'll take care of you. I will. Okay? I will. Take care of yourself. All right. All right. <laughs>
More. 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 You see what I've been saying? Have you seen what I've been saying? My beloved brother has refused to give me money, but he packs like a hundred thousand naira and gives to the wife. What? Hundred thousand? <laughs> Why would he give us so much money? What else? What else? If not to make her hair, fix her nails, and buy some stupid makeup. A hundred thousand naira. Has he gone crazy or what? So, where is he now? Oh, he drove off. He drove off because he obviously I was coming in to tell you. Okay, he ran away, isn't it? I see. Fine. And now, where is that his precious wife? She's outside. Mom, she's outside and she still has that money with her. Where that nonsense girl? There she is. So I've become too small for you to answer me. Oh, 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 oh. an elder, to be an elder in your father's family. Oh, Mama, why now? What, what, what did I do? Did I do anything wrong? Yes! Where is the money my, my son gave you? It's right here. Oh, Mama, you give me that money to, to do your hair and make your nails. I know. You have simply come to eat up my son's money. Tell me, has anybody in your family seen wealth? You have come so that you can eat my, my son's money. Yum, 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 yum. Like a thief. For your purpose. Oh, Mama, hey! One more word from you and I'll slap the taste out of your mouth. And why are you shaking your head like that? You think I cannot slap you? She's not worth the stress at all at all. Don't touch her. Or you see, simply care. Listen. Thank your stars, Mama stopped me. I would have scattered this ugly temptation of yours. Don't leave her. Stupid girl. Thief. You want to reap where you didn't sow, right? You think you can turn my son against me? Who? It is you. He will leave. He will leave you. Abandon you. Mom. Come and take money. Which man? Did she come with any money? Or what is she killing him? What fight is she killing him? I have suffered. So it is me, me, that Timothy is threatening to slap. He is setting blow for me. Hey! I have suffered. Oh. I have really suffered. But it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> Sweetie, honestly, I'm beginning to miss you already. Mm. I just want to hold you in my arms right now. Oh, please, don't start, okay? You know how I get when you put me in that mood? I don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> and you know that my husband is not around to put out the fire. <laughs> okay. I miss you too. Everybody's fine. Mama is fine. Your brother is fine. They are all fine. Okay, my darling. I want you to come home. Come back soon. Okay. I love you too, darling. Bye. Mama, 
You won't believe it. Are you sure of that? Yes! I am certainly sure. Hey! Tell me, what did you hear? She held her phone like this. Baby! Please don't turn me on. You know, my husband is not here to quench the fire. That means you have to make yourself available. What? Yes! She said that. Mama, have I ever lied to you before? Look, Timothy. We have to catch her red-handed. But Mama, what for? I, I, I saw her saying those things to that, that person on the phone. We have to. We can't just fight her based on that. We have to catch her red-handed. <sighs> Mama. Mama. It is very obvious that Mary is cheating on my brother. And you know that is very, very dangerous. Yes. She can even give my son one of these venereal diseases. Don't worry. We are going to set a trap for her. If possible, go with her to everywhere she's going. Follow her up, step by step, in this house, until we catch her. Hmm? Then we have, she will never forget what we have done to her. I need some more money. Ah. What happened to the money I gave you the other day? The hundred thousand naira I collected from Mary. Mama, it's finished now. I used it all. It wasn't even enough. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You mean you blew up a whole hundred thousand naira in four days? Mama, that money lasted 20 minutes in the club with my friends and it was not enough. One of my friends actually had to borrow me some money and he wants it back today. Anyway... How can you go about incurring debts for us here and there? This is not fair now. Mama, listen, if you don't give me money right now, you come to the police station and bail me for incurring debts. But is, is your friend a police officer? His older brother is a police officer. In fact, a police inspector. My friend actually borrowed the money from his brother and gave it to me, and the brother wants it today. How much did you collect from me? It's just 80,000 naira. 80,000 naira? You call it just? That's not how I can give you all that. That's all I have from me. 80,000 naira, nothing more. Anyway, I, I can only spare 50,000 naira. 50 what? Yes, now. Mama, 50,000 is too small now. What will I do 50,000 naira? Oh, okay, make it 60k. No. No, hell no. Okay, I'll just add 5,000 naira and make it 55,000. 55? Oh, Mama, you have money now. What's 55? Oh, okay, fine. Where's the 55,000? Bring it. Go and get my bag. Hundred thousand naira in just four days. Can you be blowing up money like that?
That's not possible. There's, there's not too much salt in the soup. So I'm now lying. Oh, I, 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 I don't know when a soup is salty or my taste bud is old because of age or even dead. Mama, please excuse me. Let me just taste it. possible now. Mama, I, I didn't put too much salt. No, I, I even tasted the food after cooking it and it tasted nice and okay. But th th this is very strange. Mary, why do you hate me so much? Why you fully aware that I'm an aged woman who must be careful about the quantity of salt I eat? Why would you want to kill me? Why? Ma Mama, let, let me let me taste this. She wants to cut our intestine with so much salt so she can inherit my brother's wealth. Oh, Why would you want to kill us? What have you done to you? What? Mama, please, it's not like that. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. It was not deliberate. Please. Let us assume it wasn't intentional that you wanted to kill us. Let us also assume that it was a main mistake. Let me ask you. Why would you cook a whole pot of soup with so much money, lot, thousands of naira, and then destroy with salt. My son's money. Mary, my mom, sorry, please. It was not deliberate. I'm confused myself. I am not going to throw away this soup or force you to eat it. I am going to put it inside the freezer and wait for my son to return so he can taste it just like we have. I'm sorry. It wasn't deliberate. I'm sorry to make life miserable for you in this house because 
because of you, my brother hates me so much. Because of you, my brother has refused to give me money. I will show you. Timothy. So, this is your handiwork. This is your own childish way of making Mama get upset with me. By spoiling my soup with salt. Taking too much. You're taking too much. You better respect yourself. Respect yourself. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Mary. Why haven't you cooked food for us to eat this morning? Because there is nothing to be cooked. And what does that mean? It simply means that there is no food in the house to be cooked. Well, the only food we have in this house is the soup which you spilled with salt. So if you're so hungry, why don't you go to the freezer, dish some, and, you know, I can help you make a bite if you don't know how to do that. You're very stupid for asking me to eat that sort of stuff. You slut! And I'll slap you again if you provoke me any further. Now, the only reason why I will not react to this is because you are my husband's brother. No one has ever tried this without having to eat his or her excreta. Now do not try it again. Don't try it again. Else you would not like this war that you're about to begin. What did you say? What did you just say? Did I hear you say war? You want war with me? You piece of rag. Trying to rub shoulders with me in my own brother's house. You, a woman trying to pay your strength with me. Okay, fine. Fight. I want you to fight me. Timothy, you are pushing me. Really? You are pushing me to the wall. I'm pushing you. Hmm. The last time I checked, this is pushed. Fight me. Come on, fight me. What is it? What to kill her before her husband returns? Mama, what is her use in this house if she cannot make food for us to eat? Mary, why didn't you cook? Do you want us to starve? Mama, I have explained to him that there is no food in this house. Mama, you know that's completely impossible. My brother cannot leave this house without dropping money for us to eat food. She has used the money on her hair and her nails, Mama. Mary, how can you use the money given to you for food for your nails and your hair? Mama, I didn't do anything like that. Whether he squandered the money on women and alcohol. Mama, you see, I told you this girl keeps. I'm going to kill you in this house. Mama, you, 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 I'm going to punch your face. You still have more to talk. No, 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 no. Mary. Do you think if I left you, you would have been able to match strength with him? Eh? Leave her, don't kill her. Don't touch her again. Now go into the kitchen and prepare food for us to eat. Go. With what? 